just when people put their faith and confidence in me, but I can't change that. The point I make to the New York Jets, one of the best jobs in the world. And yet as miserable, unhappy, and unsuccessful, why? Because the attitude, how you approach it. Sometimes we get in a job, we just think about all the problems and difficult. Think of the great opportunities. Think of the people you help. Think of the people that count on you. Appreciate the opportunities you have and appreciate the problem because if there wasn't problems, they wouldn't need you. Urban Meyer, when he became the head coach, I hired him at Notre Dame and he called me after I left. He said, I'm interested in a Bowling Green job. Can you help me? I said, yeah, I know Mike Wilcox. I know Steve Sebo. I called him. A month later, Urban Meyer called and said, Bowling Green offered me the job, but I'm turning it down. I said, why? You know, when you help somebody get a job, he turns it down. I said, why? He said, I don't think it's a good job. I said, Urban, good jobs don't open up. Only bad jobs do. You take a bad job <laughs> and you make it a good job. If it's a good job, the other guy's going to be there. And if it was a good job, why in the hell would they hire you? Yeah, I mean, that was quote for me. He takes a Bowling Green job, but appreciate the job. It goes back to the attitude you have. And, and, and I would say, people say, do you have fun doing the ESPN? Not really. I'm up here in Bristol, Connecticut, 15 minutes from Hartford by telephone. And, and it's snowing, I got a headache. <laughs> and we have no teleprompter, no script, no rehearsal. I'm on there with a guy named Mark May. Now, I want to tell you, Mark May is one of the finest people I know. He's smart, he's intelligent, he's a professional. He's a beautiful person, but we have a difference of opinion. He was a player as a coach. He made suggestions, I made decisions. He showered after work, I showered before work. He signed a paycheck on the back, I signed it on the front. You know, we just have a difference of opinion. Now, people think that we're adversarial. Not really. I got a bumper sticker on my golf cart at Lake Nona. And everybody says, well, who's that for? The bumper sticker said, Jesus loves you. Everybody else thinks you're an asshole. <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> but I'm going to have fun with what I do. They turn the red light on. I'm going to have more fun than anybody else. Why? Because if you have fun doing something, people have fun being around you. Tom Sawyer painting the fence. Oh, isn't this fun? Enjoy it. Doesn't mean you don't do stupid things. I got on there one time called at University of Auburn. Well, the next week I had to get on TV and say, folks, I made a mistake. It's Auburn University. Many of you wrote me and told me. I understand. Please don't write me anymore. I'm a quick learner. I will not make the mistake. It's Auburn University, so please don't write. Thank you. I then turned to Reese Davis on national TV, and I said, I had no idea that many people from Auburn could write. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> talking about the negative get bombarded. But just have fun with what you do. Yeah, and you know, when I went to Notre Dame, we changed people's attitude. How do you do it? Common sense. I go to Notre Dame, I have a quarterback named Steve Berline. Now, Steve Berline was a three-year starter, played in the NFL for 17 years, owned all the passing records at Notre Dame. And the first week, I sat down with Steve. Now, this is how Steve relays, remembers a conversation. I said, Steve, you own all the passing records. That's wonderful. And you're a three-year starter, and I like a running quarterback, and you aren't very fast, but that doesn't bother me. And he interrupted me and said, how slow do you think I am? I said, Steve, honestly, if you got in a race with a pregnant mother, the best you'd finish would be third. <laughs> uh, but I said, that's not what bothers me. What bothers me, you threw 17 interceptions as a junior. I said, I make this promise to you. You will not throw seven interceptions your senior year. He got excited, said, that's great. Is it the way you run the routes or read the coverage? I said, no. When you get to six, you ain't playing anymore. You know, it's not complicated. <laughs> it's just common sense. They don't understand that. What's your attitude when people say negative things? Several years ago, we were taking Notre Dame down to play in the Sugar Bowl against Florida, coached by Steve Springer. They're number two in the country, I think. We're an underdog. I felt we'd win, but most people didn't. And I wanted our team always to be home Christmas Eve. So I always sent our team home for two days. I took my wife, my four children to Orlando. We went out to dinner. Now we have four children, they're all girls but two. I, I'm real proud of that. And I, <laughs> and I'm never happier than when I'm out with my wife and family. And waiter came up and he recognized me. He said, you're a little old side coach in Notre Dame, aren't you? And I said, yes, sir. And I took out my pen thinking one autograph and he said, coach, let me ask you a question. 
what's the difference between Notre Dame Cheerios? I said, I don't have a clue. He said, Cheerios belong in a bowl, Notre Dame doesn't. <laughs> well, my, my attitude changed. I mean, I'm in the state of Florida. We're going to play Florida show. I get mad. And, and my wife finally said to me, you're going to let somebody you never met before. You're never going to see again. He doesn't care a thing about you. And you're going to let him rule this evening because something stupid he said. She said, you're smarter than that. Don't let other people control your attitude. He doesn't care about you. I said, honey, you're right. That's why you're so smart. He's not going to ruin the evening. My attitude changed. We had a wonderful evening. Felt so good a little later, I called the waiter back over, and I said, son, let me ask you a question. What's the difference between Lou Holtz and a golf pro? He said, I don't have a clue. I said, a golf pro gives tips, which he found out when the... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>